Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yashallah, ko aloyim la, yahawa bashim yahawashai, bahashim, rakaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water. To all you Akim and Akwap that's out there, man, that's, you know, really doing it, you know, trying your hardest to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of your ability, you know, praying for the apostles, the elders, the, brother, the, the brothers that's going out on the highways and byways, because that's, is needful, you know, so we, you know, we appreciate that stuff, and, um, just wanted to touch on, um, you know, this separation that's going on, you know, amongst the Edomites. And it's not just the Edomites that's here in America. It's the Edomites throughout the whole globe. And when we say Edomites, Esau, that's the biblical name for the so-called white man. And as you can see, th this place is tanking, man. They're tanking. And you can you can clearly see that they're, they're agitated by it, too. So I'm going to get into a few articles that I pulled. And basically, they're like articles on um, President Trump or your former President Trump. You know, that's this guy really feels like he should be reinstated. Actually, there's a, um, a story that I'm going to pull up on that, too, as well. <laughs> this guy. Hey, but anyway, and, and his people actually still believe that this dude is their president. Half the country believe Trump is still their president. You know, like for real, like Edomite neighborhood or the Edomite um, plantation that I work at. And them Edomites love Trump, man. They love Trump and they can't wait to 2024. They actually... You know, they've been talking about the fake election this, fake election that, you know. Uh, he was cheated out of his the, the election. <laughs> they, they really believe that stuff. But let's get some of this real quick. It says pro-Trump um, commentator Nick Adams says kids should be raised like Kid Rock and Kyle Rittenhouse, not Taylor Swift. <laughs> Conservative commentator Nick Adams has made a shocking suggestion that parents should raise their children to be more like Kenoshi shooter Kyle Rittenhouse. Now I'm not sure if you remember who that that guy is, but um, he's the guy that you know when um I think with the Black Lives Matter uh little protest was it was like a a riot in the streets of one of those cities or whatever. But he came from a whole another city, and he ended up shooting and killing two guys, and he ended up getting off. You know, so they want him to be like. This this goddamn shooter is basically this school shooter. So <laughs> it says um, after Swift announced her latest album, Midnight's, at the MTV VMAs on Sunday, Sunday night, Adams used the opportunity to turn the news into a political political debate. Kid Rock should release a new album the same day as Taylor Swift. Adams tweeted, and he just might, you know, he, he'll probably roll off this hype. Kid Rock, like Adams, is an ardent Donald Trump supporter. He continued, people are craving real music with thought-provoking and emotional lyrics. Who better to give it than Kid Rock? I guarantee his album would outsell and outclass hers. <laughs> After finding out he was trending on Twitter, Adams doubled down on his comments with a video. Kid Rock is a badass American, alpha male patriot. <laughs> Adams, who is Australian, said in the clip. So you, so you, you, you got that. You know, that that thought process of the so-called white man that, that, you know, that believe that they should be continue ruling. Then you got the other half, you know, that's just a bunch of damn weirdos. You know, that's about all this, all these weirdo laws and all this other stuff. We ain't going to talk about the alphabet people and all they, they, they So they divide it all away, man. It says, and he then followed up with another tweet writing, raise your children to be like Kid Rock and Kyle Rittenhouse, not Taylor Swift. And Harry Styles. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, it says, 19-year-old Rittenhouse was acquitted last year on charges of homicide, attempted homicide, and reckless endangerment after fatally shooting two men and injuring a third during a protest against the police killing of 29-year-old black man Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And so you remember, you know, if you're familiar with that, you know, hey, they, he <laughs> that guy went up there, man, on, on the stand and cried them crocodile tears, and they let his ass go, man. But anyway, so th this is your your division, you know, basically your 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 Kid Rock and Kyle Rittenhouse against Taylor Swift and 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 uh, uh <laughs> and this guy is a, a damn weirdo, Harry Styles, a damn weirdo. Wearing, never mind. I ain't gonna need them. Let's keep it classy. Okay, but um, 
let me go off into the next story here real quick. It's a lock you. Matter of fact, let me just grab this quick scripture real fast. Um, Because, yeah, this, this place is divided, man. You got the Russians fighting against the Ukrainians. They're all Edomites. You got the Americans fighting against the Russians. They're all Edomites. They should be sticking it out and sticking together and saying, hey, you know what? We're dying off quicker than we're being born. We need to do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's, hey, let's make some, you know, treaties amongst each other or whatever, whatever. I mean, in, in all these countries, all these European countries, man, the people are rioting. They're against their government. They, they don't want anything. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, man. So this is your How About Shimei Shai, and it lets you know that we're in these last days, man, because he said these things will be happening. Okay, so this is Matthew 12 and 25, and it reads, and Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And that's what's happening. Hey, America is, is, is crumbling, man. You can't have 50% of your citizens, um, you know, against the other 50% of, <laughs> of, of citizens, man. It's not going it, to, that's just like a house, man. It, it, it's clearly saying that even if within your house, if the wife and the husband become, you know, they get into an argument and every, you know, become separated. Hey, if, if they don't have the wisdom, knowledge and understanding to say, hey, you know, let's, you know, let's, let's situate this. Let's get this together. Eventually they're going to divorce. The house is going to be broken. Now your children you know, or, or visiting on weekends at one parent's house. And so, and that's pretty much what's going on with America, man. Let's go, let's get the next story though. Fox News host calls out Trump's outrageous cry to be reinstated as president. Now this guy is really, this is what he, he actually <laughs> thinks that he should be reinstated right now. And, and you got these bumbling fools that these Trump supporters, man, that actually really still believe that this guy's their president and that and they'll hey, they'll get down for this, man. It says, but she also called Trump smart during a panel that tried to unpack the former president's rent. Fox News anchor Shannon Breen dismissed Donald Trump's demand to be reinstalled as president during an awkward panel analysis of the former president's rent on Tuesday. OK. It says declare the rightful winner or. And this would be the minimal solution. Declare the 2020 election irreparably compromised and have a new election immediately. Trump wrote on Truth Social. So this guy, he's got his own social media thing going on as well because, you know, they kicked him off Twitter. Yeah, I think they kicked him off. You know, they pretty much, you know, hey, <laughs> they kicked him off all the social media channels, man. See, this is how separated this country is. You know, now he did and he was. I've never seen no no president or no, you know, on, on Twitter or any other leaders for that matter, you know, senators or governors. They may post something as far as like governmental information. But this dude was just straight like he's, you know, fucking Jay-Z or somebody or <laughs> just tw just tweeting throughout the day. He's up early morning just tweeting, you know, like he's about to drop a new, a new album, man. He was bugging out on there, but they banned him. So he's on his own social media platform now. That he created. And, and he's got the support and backing of at least damn near 100 million people, man. Okay. It says, Breen actually checked the former president. All of us on this panel know that that is not happening, she said. When the president says things like this, the former president, it gets a lot of eyeballs saying this is outrageous. Trump's latest outburst came on the heels of reports that Facebook was warned by the FBI to be on the lookout for Russian propaganda before 2021, before 2020. Okay, so that's going into, you know, quite a few things. Okay, so let's, let's, let's play this. 
Well, in the meantime, we have the former president who's under a, a lot of scrutiny these days for a lot of things. Um, out on his truth, uh, Trump social posting this. So now it comes out conclusively that the FBI buried the Hunter Biden laptop story before the election, knowing that if they didn't, quote, Trump would have easily won the 2020 presidential election. This is massive fraud and election interference at a level never seen before in our country. Remedy, declare the rightful winner or, and this would be the minimal solution, declare the 2020 election irreparably compromised and have a new election immediately. All of us on this panel know that is not happening. Uh, but Molly, I want to start with you on this because you wrote about this, um, this idea of trouble within the voting systems. But when the president says things like this, the former president, it gets a lot of eyeballs saying this is outrageous. The former president saying toss the current president, reinstall him immediately. Um, how do you where do you think he's going with this and right. reaction? Well, I mean, rightly so. There is no constitutional provision to rectify some of the things that we have since found out happened in the 2020 election. At the same time, these types of things that do come out are very serious and they cannot be allowed to happen in the future. I mean, knowing that the FBI called social media companies and told them to, um, you know, basically worked with them to suppress information that directly affected the 2020 election. That is, you cannot have your law enforcement agencies uh, controlling what's happening in elections and particularly after they did so much between 2016 and 2020 to harm the Trump administration. I mean, we have a very serious problem with the Department of Justice and FBI and it's a threat to the republic. Well, and Jeff, more and more polling shows people are losing confidence in American institutions that have been around for decades and longer. Um, and that's not something that I think anybody wants, the unraveling or, uh, of our society. Okay, so Salaki, so you see what she said with these separations, see? The, the, the separations in this country, man. The people are separated. They, they, the people don't even, they, they don't want nothing to do with their government, man. They, they, they're ready to go to war, man. These people are ready to go to straight war, civil war, basically. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let me, let me go into the Apocrypha real quick. Uh, I'm trying to think where that scripture is at. Uh, Slakia, bear with me real quick. Um, uh... Well, I was already there. Ecclesiastica is also known as the Book of Sirach. Uh, let's get chapter 15. Might be verse 17 or so. Uh, what was it 14 that I needed? So like you, let me see here. Nope, that's not it. So lucky, bear with me. Well, so lucky, it was second address that I was looking for. Second address 15 and 16, where there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So these prophecies are coming to, coming to light, man. I mean, hey, we're living in the last days, man. These people are not, they don't have no respect for government no more. Because the now, since, since the social media has been, you know, on the rise, you know, all these different channels, people, all this information, you know, they're, they're pretty much overall losing the info wars. Because people are starting to be able to research. They're starting, you know, it's, it's, it's back and forth. You can't keep up with hundreds of millions or billions of people on, on, on the Internet at one time and try and just control. Now, they, 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 they do their heart. They, you know, they do their best with it because they will at least give us strikes. They strike the hell out of our channels, man, and take our channels down. But they, hey, they, they definitely got the, um, the Internet police out there, but they're, they're not able to. Um, <laughs> it's too much information. They can't they can't keep all this information, you know, and, and, and people. A lot of it is propaganda. Some of it is true, some of it is not, but it is just, it is what it is. But people, they're not really thinking for themselves, man. They, they don't have no thought pattern for themselves, man. They, they just go on with the flow of what they're hearing. So you got these so-called white people, man, that, that believe that Trump is really their president still. And see, when Trump goes on, on TV and he says, hey, look, the FBI, they're raiding, 
you know, my Mar-a-Lago mansion. And you, see, he's controlling the narrative. See, Trump, that's one thing about that guy, man. He was very smart as far as like Twitter fingers, man. He'll give you, he's got his people in the palm of his hand. The people that really support Trump, he's got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of supporters, man. He's got them in the palm of their, hey, they, 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 anything that man says is Bible, man, to them. So, but let's go to the next um, story I pulled, uh, this one. Now, this is Senator Graham, right? It's ABC News. Graham faces backlash after claiming violence could break out if Trump prosecuted. Now, I seen this story the other day, and I'm like, God damn. But see, you even got sitting senators, sitting senators that's, that's basically telling you, hey, it's going to be a damn civil war breakout if they go and arrest Trump about these, these FBI um, documents, man, or, or these um, so-called classified documents that the FBI found at the Mar-a-Lago mansion down in Florida, right? This is a sitting, <laughs> he shouldn't have never said nothing like that. But let's, you know, yeah, hey, these things must come to pass. And, and, and we root for these things, though. These are the type of things that we pray for. You know, we want to see the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom, man. And again, um, I know I mentioned in one other lesson or one other video, we got um, the Day of Atonement coming up, um, September 4th sundown to September 5th sundown. And hey, one of the things we're going to, you know, you how about Shemiah Shah willing, you know, fast, pray, and things to pray for is the downfall of this country as well. You know, but pray for, you know, if you got ailments, pray for more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, thing, hey, things that are um that are that are righteous, man, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You know, or whatever you need prayer for, but you know, generally things that are, are righteous, man. But anyway, let's get some of this, right? Matter of fact, I'm not sure if this will actually play. But we don't need to play it though. We'll just read a little bit. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina is facing backlash after claiming political violence will break out. If former President Donald Trump is indicted for mishandling presidential records, President Joe Biden on Tuesday, while not mentioning Graham by name, appeared to call him out at a political rally in Pennsylvania saying, the idea you turn on your television and see senior citizens, I mean, I said senior citizens, and that's what they are, though, senior, <laughs> senior senators and congressmen saying if such and such happens, there will be blood in the streets. Where the hell are we? You're in bloody ass America. What the hell you mean? Where the hell are we? Get the hell out of here, man. They, it amazes me that these, these and these are old, old ass so-called white men. You don't know the violence of your country. Your country has been violent since it's been a country. <laughs> President Joe Biden on Tuesday. Oh, um, no. Graham's comments came at a time when Trump supporters threats against law enforcement have escalated following the Mar-a-Lago search. At least one man cited it attacked an FBI field office in Cincinnati. I'm not sure if you remember that. You know, as soon as the story broke out that they was in Trump's Mar-a-Lago, you know, because, you know, Trump, he was watching it from another house because, you know, he got surveillance in that in that mansion. So he's looking at his surveillance cameras, actually watching the people go through his shit, you know. So he's tweeting about or not tweeting, but he's on his social media platform, so to speak, talking about it. And. You know, now you, you got these so-called, these wild ass so-called white men, you know, running up on FBI buildings and, you know, just walking with their guns and, you, hey, the only shit that they can do. <laughs> but anyway, law, law enforcement officials told ABC News they were investigating social media posts apparently linked to the suspect that called for violence in the days after the FBI search. During an appearance on Fox News on Sunday, the former chairman of the Senate Ju Judiciary Committee said there will be riots in the street if Trump faces legal ramifications for taking at least 184 classified documents to his <laughs> to his Mar-a-Lago estate after leaving office. How you a hey, you supposed to leave the, the, the classified stuff, man? How the hell are you taking classified information to your crib, man? After after you done lost the election. It's amazing, man. And really, in reality, they're just trying to stop this guy from running in 2024 because Trump will have a very good chance of winning, you know, <laughs> because people are starting to see Joe Biden 
See, that's why Joe Biden is doing some of the things that he's doing right now. You know, he's, you know, um, forgiving um, college student debt loans. And so he wants that crowd of people. He's, you know, he's he's pushing, you know, the, the abortion thing, you know, so he's got that that large number of women that don't mind killing babies. He got that that crowd. He's pushing for the, you know, the alphabet people, the LGB. He's got that. He's got that crowd, you know, so. He's got his, you know, and that's pretty much your, your half of the country. That's your other half of the country, you know, against Trump's half of the country, so to speak. You know, the ones that's just out here that just want to just live life, man. They just want to, you know, live life with no consequences whatsoever. That's your whole Democratic Party pretty much overall, man. Okay, but it says. After months of the, the Justice Department and National Archives negotiating with Trump's legal teams, to get him to return the documents, the FBI ex executed a search warrant. But since then, Graham and many other Republicans have argued that Trump is facing a double standard from how the DOJ treated Hillary Clinton. But see, Hillary Clinton is not one no damn president, you know? Uh, she had that um, her personal email server thing, you know, in the Senator House, you know. She shouldn't have been getting White House documents or emails at her fucking house. But anyway, you know, they should have arrested her ass just like they should arrest this clown. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. Specifically, Clinton Trump 2016 Democratic rival for president was not charged after probes into her use of the private email service containing. OK, well, you get the point. We, we don't even have to go anymore. And I'm going to end out with just another scripture, man. But as you can see. I can get the second address 15 to 16 again. These people. They're not trusting the FBI. They're not trusting the CIA. They're not trusting the, the president. They're not trusting the vice president, the governors and certain senators. And so second address 15 and 16 for they for there shall be sedition among men. This is this is about to get intense out here and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Hey, they, these people about to get down out here in a minute, man. And the Lord, he's turned. He's slowly turning up the volume, man. I don't know if you've ever seen The Kingsman with um Samuel L. Jackson where he plays the billionaire. And, you know, they got these phones. Um, everybody coming to get these free phones. But, they, you know, it's got a frequency in it. And they was testing it out. And it's like a church scene in that movie where, you know, people just, you know, as soon as they, you know, the, the phones go off, the frequency goes off and it just turns people violent. And, um... You can see the lady, she's sitting there and she's turning the dial and she's, you know, as she turns it up, they e they get even more wilder. And that's basically what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Just an illustration that Yahweh by Shimei Shah is turning that dial and he's turning that dial. Man. <laughs> and he because hey, this is the year to turn up too. you know, um, Apostle Tahar, he, he coined that phrase, man, of, of you know, for this year, you know, um, you know, by the spirit, man. Turning that dial, that dial is being turned up. Okay, but anyway, let me um, get one more. I wanted to get, uh, where we at here? Let's go to chapter 25. Same same book, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy, and a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. And that's what we're, we're, we're you know, hey. We're patiently waiting, man. That's why when you go to Revelation 13 and 10, it talks about um, the saints are, are faithfully and patiently waiting for the, you know, the, the their enemies to go into captivity, man. That those that kill with the sword, they're going to be killed with the sword. You know, you reap what you sow, according to Galatians 6 and 7, man. Hey, you, hey <laughs> Esau eating the so-called white man, he's done so much goddamn dirt out here. Now he's starting to get that back, man. He, you know, that that plant, that seed that he sown, he's starting to get fruit now. He's <laughs> he can't turn it back, man. He can't dig it up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want this. No, nah, no. Nah. You you gonna you gonna eat. Matter of fact, the scripture talks about they're gonna drink of that cup. They're gonna drink that cup, that 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 wine, man, that's poured, poured out without mixture, man. The Lord's cup. We had to drink of it. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Israelites, we had to drink that cup. You don't think that these people are going to drink of that cup, man? They're going to get it way worse than we did. 
and and the Lord put us through some things, boy. <laughs> we still going, we still in it. We still in the thick of it, man. We've been in captivity to these people for damn near 500 years or so, man. Still going through the thick of it. And to this very day, 2022, going into 2023, they still hate our damn guts, man. And Jake out here running around like these people like them. But when these so-called white people that believe that Trump is still their president, when the Lord turn their asses on, he's about to do you so-called Negroes dirty, man. You're going to really see that they've never liked you. And actually, the ones that are Democrats or the ones that's on the left, that's actually kind of riding with you because they just want rights out of you. You know, they, they use your civil rights movement to push alphabet rights, all kinds of rights. Now they're getting and they use you as the front. Them going to turn them people going to turn against you, too, because they're going to have to go back to their side. It ain't going to be no. So-called black people running with so-called white people or no so-called white people running. All these nations, Chinese, Japanese, they're going to go to their own. They're not going to have no choice. They're going to go to their own, man. <laughs> so <laughs> get prepared for what's to come out here, man. The scripture says to watch and pray. These are things that we watch and pray. You know, watch for. We watch for these particular types of things because, you know, the scripture talks about this may be a small thing. Matter of fact. You may say, well, hey, what, what does this have to do with the gospel? Hey, look, <laughs> everything is, 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 you know, we just filter, we filter through the scriptures, man. Oh, this is a good one right here. Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Yahweh and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in, the, in, the, and in thy security... Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that's fought, you know, you're passing the camps up. You know, you see the camps on the street. The brothers are out on the highways and byways, man. You should be stopping and seeing, hey, what, what you know, what, what are they really talking about? Don't, it's, it's, it's plenty of people out here that know that they're Hebrew Israelites and they're not doing nothing to change, but they're not changing up. They're not getting rid of um, the darkness in their life. They're not, you know, they're not doing anything about it. But they'll tell you, oh, yeah, I know I'm a Hebrew Israelite. But what are you doing, man? You're supposed to be trying to clean up, man. <laughs> You're supposed to be trying to clean up. Because, you know, we're praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for mercy, man. And we make it out here, man. You know? You can do a million videos. You can do a million lessons. But, you know, hey, we're praying to be a part of that elect, man. We, we trying to get the hell out of here. So at least we're trying, you know, we're, but that's why we say the hopefully let because we're, we're trying. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? But we that, personally, that's what I want. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get the hell out of here, man. This place is wicked as hell. And, and I just want to make it, man. I want to see the Lord come and be beamed up, man. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, I was going to get verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small and that's what I was saying. Like, you know, you might say, OK, well, this Trump thing, well, what's that? You know, it's showing you the division in the country or division in general, because you can turn on, on your um, your news. If you do alternative news, you can Google Australian news or Google British news, um, British or Italian or whatever. You know, you can get news from anywhere in the world. And if you look at it, what you're going to see is, is the so-called white man. Is not liking their governments right now. <laughs> and they ready to go full fledged. See, America is one of the places where they haven't gone full fledged ape yet. These other countries, they already going, they've been going at it with their governments, man. So I just wanted to just touch on that, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Hey, we we almost there, man. We almost home. So with that, Kwame Shalom.